I don't know. That's up to our attorney general, who I think has done a fantastic job. Attorney General William Barr has already said he has no objection to Robert Mueller appearing before Congress. And NBC News reports that House Judiciary Committee has begun discussions with Mueller's team about scheduling testimony, but that nothing has been finalized. Earlier today, Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Lindsey Graham sent Mueller a letter offering him the opportunity to testify about any possible misrepresentation Barr may have made of a phone call the two had regarding Barr's March 24th letter. On Wednesday, Barr said Mueller did not challenge the letter's accuracy. All this is House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler sent a final counter offer to Barr to obtain the full version of the Mueller report. Nadler wants the unredacted Mueller report and the underlying evidence. He had issued a subpoena on April 19th. Today, he set an ultimatum, writing in a letter to Barr, quote, the committee is prepared to make every realistic effort to reach an accommodation with the department. But if the department persists in its baseless refusal to comply with a validly issued subpoena, the committee will move to contempt proceedings and seek further legal recourse. The deadline Nadler set for Barr and the Justice Department to respond this coming Monday at 9 a.m. With us for more, Tessa Berenson, White House correspondent for Time magazine, and former U.S. attorney Joyce Vance, who spent 25 years as a federal prosecutor. Thank you both uh, for being with us. Tessa, let me just start with you. I think it's the question on everybody's mind coming out of this week, the odds that we hear from the former special counsel, Robert Mueller, before Congress. Well, look, the White House has said that they don't plan on interfering. Uh, you just played a clip of Trump saying that, and White House officials have said that to me as well, that they could intervene and prevent him from testifying. But as of now, they don't plan to. Um, but one thing I will say is that the White House is not particularly happy with special counsel Robert Mueller. Um, they, I've talked to multiple White House officials who say the prevailing view inside the building is that they don't think volume two of his report on obstruction should have been written. They think it was outside of his regulations. Regulations. He just needed to make a prosecutorial decision um, and shouldn't have written 200 pages of bad behavior of Trump, basically, without uh, deciding to prosecute him. And they compared it to when James Comey uh, said Hillary Clinton was extremely careless in the handling of her emails in the summer of 2016, but didn't prosecute her. That ended up being one of the stated reasons for Comey's firing. And they feel that Mueller ha has done basically the same thing here with the president on obstruction. So while they have said that they won't interfere in him testifying, uh, I think they will be watching with interest and really looking for some answers from him on the decisions he made in volume two. And, and Joyce, I, I think just the, the, the fact that uh, you've had uh, Mueller himself now emerge as sort of, well, you had the attorney general at that hearing this week saying that he considered the, uh, the phone call uh, that he had with, uh, with Mueller, he considered him to be snitty. I think that was his word. Do you think that the, the reaction uh, sort of in the public square to his report, some of the criticism, some of those comments like the one from Barr, do you think in any way that's affected Mueller's desire, willingness to speak publicly, the sorts of things he might be willing to say publicly? You know, I doubt that it has uh, impacted Mueller much, if at all. Prosecutors are used to facing harsh criticism from the public. We typically like to joke that if you're making your friends as angry as you're making your enemies, you're doing a pretty good job. So I don't think that this will impact Mueller. I'm sure he will uh, look forward to a trip up to Capitol Hill about as much as he would look forward to a root canal. It's not really a place that DOJ employees like to find themselves, and I don't think Mueller will be any exception to that. But he will obviously go if he's subpoenaed. But something that we should all, I think, keep in mind to temper our expectations for his testimony is that just because the White House permits him to appear for testimony does not mean he'll be released from his obligation to protect grand jury material and classified material. I expect a lot of what we'll hear from Bob Mueller when he does testify is that his written report speaks for itself. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.